16 points in the fourth quarter was too little too late as the Broncos fell to the Chargers for the first time at mile high since 2018. Obviously, uh, look, a disappointing loss. We did all the things that you can't do in a game like that. You know, we turned it over twice in the first half. That led to points. They ran the ball better than we did. You know, we mustered up some offense late in the game, but it starts with me. You know, we got to be a lot better, uh, obviously, offensively. Country. I'm Lori Lattimore Volkman, and this is the Roundup. Not the happy edition. Things started bad for the Broncos on just the third play of the game when a tipped pass from Bo Nix dropped into the hands of cornerback Elijah Molden. And they only got worse as the Broncos defense could not figure out how to stop J.K. Domids or Justin Herbert. At least, not when it mattered. For third down conversions, the Broncos offense was a paltry 27%. Meanwhile, the Chargers offense hit 61%. And that difference was basically the difference in the game. As a group, you know, across the board, we, we got to be better. We never, you know, wavered off of it. You know, we always knew we can come back in the game no matter how many points. We've seen it last year. Um, we just got to come out with better urgency next year. Is this a good time to have a short week? Yeah, I think it is. Um, just got a super bad taste in our mouth, you know. Um, and just get back out there Thursday, you know, and just try to try to play our game. Down 23-0 heading into the fourth quarter, the Broncos offense finally put a couple of touchdowns on the board thanks to some typical heroics from Cortland Sutton and a back-of-the-end zone score from Troy Franklin Jr., his first NFL TD. But the defense couldn't keep the Chargers off the field, and the offense just couldn't make enough big plays in time. It was a valiant effort, but the surge was too late. Yeah, it's not easy looking at the scoreboard, you know, seeing the deficits. Uh, it's tough, but I think that's, you know, that's our team. Nix wasn't taking any moral victories in the loss, but he did praise the team for not giving up, even when hope was kind of lost. You know, on the sideline, our guys continued to battle and battle and battle, um, you know, despite the situation, despite, you know, maybe missing another opportunity or getting off the field again and you have to restart. Not every game is going to be easy. You're not going to blow every, every team out. Sometimes you get knocked down early and uh, you got to find a way to, um, you know, gut it out at, at the end. And, you know, the fact that we gave ourselves a chance there at the end uh, to have another opportunity was says a lot about our team. Quitting this team, down 23 nothing, going into halftime, it, was e it could have been easy for us to lay down and, you know, say, oh, they got us today. But nah, we went out there and we put our best foot forward in that second half and came up a little short. But th those are the sins from the first half, and that's something that we can address and that's something that things that we can, that we can fix. That, that second half showed everything that we needed to know about this team and that there's no quit. Now Knicks and the Broncos are moving on. Team, I know um, today wasn't what we wanted, but um, I feel like we're headed in the right direction with how we finished the game. Um, and so you can't normally take, you know, moral victories after a loss. It's tough. Nobody likes to lose. Um, nobody wants to be on that side. But you can look at it, and you can only go two ways. You can t continue to go backwards or let it defeat you, let it crush you, and you get in your head, or you're going to continue to move forward. And um, I believe our team is going to continue to move forward and stay motivated. And um, um, today, you know, didn't settle well with us, and we're going to continue to battle, find ways to get better, and continue to put good stuff on the, on the field. A bright spot to build on was Nix's connection with Vele and Franklin Jr. Rose, he's got Vele at the 20, Vele at the 10, still going at the 5, Vele almost all the way. Vele was the team's leading receiver on Sunday with 78 yards and Franklin Jr. scored his first NFL touchdown. Yeah, we're excited about those two. They're really uh, competitive players, um, smart players. I'm excited to see their growth as they continue to move forward. And, you know, we're, those two we're going to have to count on, and, and we need moving forward. Um, and they're completely, you know, capable and ready to accept the challenge, and I'm excited to see it. The good news is that the Broncos have no time to dwell on the loss as they travel to New Orleans on Thursday to take on Sean Payton's former team. The head coach says he is focused on his current team and his current goals. Man, it's about the game. It's about the win, the significance of us playing our best football on a short week. And it's about our team. Let's understand you know, the significance of getting our fourth win. I think that 
That's the number one thing. And the best way to get that number four win is to start fast. Something the Broncos haven't quite done enough of this season. In order to play fast, you know, you have to know what to do. And, you know, halftime leads on Thursday generally have a higher percentage of wins. And so fatigue can obviously uh, take place. And so I think, you know, playing well early is important. In order to play fast, you know, it's important to play with the uh, the defense, special teams, and offensive stuff scheme-wise that you know real well that you've done in training camp. Former Saints quarterback Drew Brees and Sean Payton favorite will be inducted to the Saints Ring of Honor on Thursday. Although Payton loves his former quarterback, he knows there won't be a lot of love for him in the Superdome. And he's okay with that because his primary focus on Thursday is for the Broncos to win. Listen, I can't stand losing. And so... It's about it's about our team and and me as the head coach, the Broncos, um, getting ready to play uh, on an early week and try to play one of our better games. Yeah, Broncos, I'm going to be there on Thursday, and I want to win too. So do it, because I expect nothing less than a dub. Please. Former Saints quarterback and Sean Payton favorite, Drew Brees, will be inducted to the Ring of Honor on Sunday. And the offense couldn't just... <laughs> and a bright top... <laughs> Vele was the... Re- <laughs> Jeez, that's hard to say. Because his... 